Thank you for calling Heaven Skyline, your number one prayer answering service. This call may be monitored or recorded for quality control purposes. Your call is very important to us. Please wait as we connect you with the next available angel. Thank you for calling Heaven Skyline. This is Kish. May I have your first and last name, please? First name, Lara. L-A-R-A. Last name, Wise. W-E-I-S-S. Thank you, Laura. How may I direct your prayer today? Sorry, I'm not sure. Oh, is this your first time using Heaven's Skyline? Yes. Then welcome. We're here to make your praying process quick and easy. I'm not sure I heard the recording right. Did it say next available agent or angel? Angel. That's me. Call me Kish. Really? I'm talking with a real angel? Well, (laughs) I'm flattered, but it's really not that impressive. I'm low-ranking, so I don't have any authority or powers or anything, really. They're just having me do odd jobs around here to help out. Lots of work to be done, you know? I can imagine. So, how may I help you today? Well, may I talk with God? Ah. How about you tell me the nature of your prayer first? Well, I'm praying for healing. Let's see. Uh, Could you be a little more specific? I mean, I'm not sure how much detail I should go into. I've been under a lot of stress lately. Ah, great. Let me get you connected with St. Dymphna. Who? Our patron saint of mental health. One moment, please. Okay, well, lately, I've had a lot of struggles in my marriage with- Uh, marriage? Sorry, that's not really my department. Let me connect you with someone. Wait, I- Greetings. This is Gangolfis of Burgundy. May I have your name, please? This is Lara. L-A-R-A, Wise. W-E-I-S-S. Listen, I don't know if I'm in the right place. I was praying for healing. Oh, dear. You've ended up in the marriage support department. Let me sort this out. Thank you. Thank you for calling Heaven Skyline. This is Kish. May I have your first- Kish, it's me, Laura. We spoke before. Oh, hi, Laura. How may I direct your call? I don't want to be directed again. I just went in a big circle. I want to talk to God. Oh, okay. You're calling from the Church of Our Lady of Perpetual Agony. Is that correct? Yes. Ah, see, we don't really do that. What? Well, you see- His holiness is very busy. Busy? But he's God. He can do anything. It's not really about can or can't. It's about efficiency. Look, we get lots of prayers every day, right? So whenever you get workloads that big, you need to do some delegation. Have multiple projects going on at once, you know? So we have the saints take care of the prayers. So God doesn't answer any prayers? Oh, he does. What kinds? Well, mostly ones from Protestants. Are you telling me God isn't answering my prayer because I'm Catholic? Wait, wait, wait. Your prayer is being answered, I promise. We just need to find the right saint to intercede for you. They'll take down all the details and then work something out with His Holiness on your behalf. Most of them have been up here for a couple hundred years, so they've got a lot of influence. You'll have a trained specialist focusing on your prayer. So, really, we're doing you a favor. But why do Protestants get to talk directly to God? 
Well, they can be very particular. By the book, so to speak. Very demanding. Whereas, if we want Catholics to do something, we just send a memo down to whomever's pope. So, Protestants get to talk with God because they demand it? Well, I'm demanding it now. Yeah, that's not going to get you anywhere. Look, Catholicism is very traditional, you know? There's thousands of years of precedent for rituals, procedures, and rank. And they're not going to just change that. I mean, okay, they did do that change of and also with you to end with your spirit. But that doesn't come around every day, you know? What I'm saying is, you and I are both on the bottom of the totem pole here. So there's not a whole lot we can do compared with a high-ranking saint. So there's no way you can connect me with God? If you're looking to convert, unfortunately, I can't process that over the phone. I don't want to convert. I just want my prayer answered. Okay, okay. Tell me what it is you're praying about. Mental health. Got it. Let me connect you. Hi, Dimphna. This is Laura. We talked before. Hi, Laura. Please send me your prayer. Quick question. Are you a trained specialist in mental health? Actually, not really. Well, I did build a hospice for the poor and sick, but shortly after that, I was beheaded at 15 years old. There was a church built in my honor that drew a lot of people seeking mental health care, but that didn't happen until like 700 years or so after my death. That figures... I really can help, though. Please tell me what you need. What kinds of mental health do you help with? All kinds. So you'll help me with my depression? Uh, I'm so sorry, but we have someone who specializes in depression. (sighs) No, no, it's okay. You're doing your best. Just one moment, please. Blessed day, this is St. Catherine of Genoa. Blessed Maria Fortunata Vitti. Who? St. Catherine of... No, it's okay. You don't have to say your whole title again. Can I call you Catherine? You may. May I have your name? This is Laura. (laughs) L-A-R... You don't have to spell your whole name. Oh. Who are you praying for today, Laura? Me. I really need it. Please, tell me the nature of your depression. Well... I've been really stressed out and struggling a lot. It's because of my husband's addiction. I've been feeling- One minute, please, Laura. If addiction is the source of your depression, our addiction support is better qualified to handle that. No, 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 no. Please don't transfer me again. Dzień dobry. This is answering service for St. Maximilian Kolbe. Please choose who are you praying for. For amateur radio operators, press 1. For drug addicts, press 2. For political prisoners, press 3. For journalists, press 4. 2. Chwileczkę. Dzień dobry. This is Saint Maximilian Kolbe. Hi, this is Laura Wise. Am I in the right place? I'm trying to pray for my husband's addiction. Ah, yes. Addiction to drugs. I help with this. But what was all that other stuff from the recording? What are you the patron saint for? All those things. Amateur radio operators, political prisoners. But if all those calls direct to you, what was the point of the recording? I like to know what prayers are coming before I answer. Better to be prepared. How much time could you possibly have to prepare? You picked up right away after I said the number. Also, you need to update your recording. I didn't have any numbers to press. Do you have a prayer to be answered? Yes or no? Yes, sorry. Okay. The addiction happened after my husband's surgery. He had a long recovery period and was prescribed painkillers. He had a few complications during recovery. It took longer than expected, and he started to get hooked on opioids. Opium, you say? No, I said opioids, not opium. We have someone who specializes in opium addiction. His name is Mark G. Tangjong. Who? 
He's very good. I will transfer you now. God, help me! Um, may I please speak with Kish? Kish, thank you. Bye bye. Thank you for calling Heaven Skyline. This is Kish. It's me, Laura again. Somehow I ended up in China. Wow. Well, that's the power of prayer. I still didn't get anyone to intercede for me. Kish, do you have someone who prays to souls in purgatory? Absolutely. Let me just see here who we got. No, please. It was a joke. Don't transfer me. I want you to pray for me. What? I can't. I'm not a saint. I'm not an archangel either. I'm a low rank. I can't grant prayers. I'm not asking you to grant prayers. I'm asking you to intercede. Put in a good word to God. You can do that, right? But, but... Please, Kish, please. Anything. Just don't play that music again. You... you don't want to hear the music anymore? Yes! Oh. I guess I can grant that prayer after all. That was easy. Thank you for calling Heaven Skyline. Have a blessed day. Wait, wait! Thank you for calling oh. Heaven Skyline, your number one prayer answering service. This call may be monitored or recorded for quality control purposes. Your call is very important to us. Please wait as we connect you with the next available angel. Hello there. You've been waiting a long time, haven't you? Is this? I am. Wow, I'm so glad you finally considered me worthy enough to speak with me. Take that, Protestants. Have you considered that you may be wasting your time? What? Think about it. All this time you spent on the phone, waiting for someone to tell you the answers. But now, you wouldn't have even gotten the answers, right? All you wanted was for someone to hear you. Yes. You have people around you, right? You have friends who would support you. So why waste all this time on the phone? Why? You could have been thinking up solutions to your problems. Oh. Tell me, are you any closer to being happy now than you were when you started? No. So why do you keep putting your faith into those who let you down again and again? I... I just... Hello? Hello? Is anyone there? Hello? Oh, it's you, Laura. This is Kish. Are you okay? What happened? So sorry about that. Forgive us. That was the devil. Oh, I, I thought it was... Unfortunately, he hacks in here all the time. He waits around quietly until he spots someone confused and vulnerable. Then he starts stroking their egos giving misleading advice, and encouraging people to give up. We kick him out as soon as we find him, but he's sneaky, you know. And he can imitate voices, too. See, that's the problem with listening to voices. There's no good way to tell who it really is on the other end. Laura? Laura, are you still there? I'm here. Laura, I'm so sorry. I haven't been taking good care of you. I haven't been helping you get your prayer answered. Uh, can I make it up to you? I found someone who will take your prayer. He'll give you his full, undivided attention. And you've spoken with him before, so you know him. Is it the Chinese guy again? Who? Never mind. Laura, please. This guy's the best. And I don't transfer just anyone to him. Will you give me one more chance? Laura, will you please let me transfer you just one more time? Okay. Great. Just one second. Oh, and I won't put on the music this time. Thank you. 
Hello there. This is Nicholas. May I have your name? This is Lara. L A R A. Wise. W E I S S. Ah, Lara. It's been a long, long time since we've last spoken. Ho, 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 ho. It has. Now tell me, have you been a good girl this year? <laughs> I tried. I've been trying so hard. There, there now. Don't worry yourself. I'm not going to send you a bag of coal. You don't have to send me anything. My dear, it's no trouble at all. Nobody sends me any prayers this time of year. Now tell me, what do you want for Christmas? I want my husband to get better. I see. Now, here's what I'm going to do I'm going to put in a good word for you with the one in charge. Then, I'm going to send you something good. It won't be in a package, but something good will happen. Ho 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 ho. How will I know when I see it? You'll know. I'll send one of my little helpers. I've got lots of helpers all over. I don't know what to say. Thank you. Oh, ho 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 ho. It's no trouble at all. Just pay it forward by acting as my little helper for someone else. And come visit me in December. And let me know how you're doing. You can talk to one of my little helpers that dresses like me. I'll get the message. Will you do that? Will you hang on until December? I will. Splendid! I'll see you in a few months. Ho 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 ho! Thank you, St. Nicholas. Goodbye. <laughs>